previously on McFly Angler. Yeah. I went down to Corpus and fished for two days on a three-day weekend trip. Woo oh. oh my. The first day I caught two reds, and one was in the slot size at 24 inch. That's a monster. That is a good red. Holy moly. And Johnny got one just shy of the slot size on the second day we fished. This is McFly Angler. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! And it starts now. Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So, today we're out again. It's Sunday. This is the last day I'm going to be fishing. Sorry for the wind noise. It is windy today. Hopefully, the conditions will be all right for fly fishing. Uh, Johnny actually is bringing a conventional rod because of the wind. He had trouble yesterday. I mean, I did too um, with casting. It was pretty heavy wind, but... Hopefully we catch today. Yesterday was kind of a bust. Johnny got a nice uh, little red, um, just shy, 19 inch. Gotta be 20 to keep it. We're gonna go back to the same spot, that long walk, and hopefully we catch. Anyway, again, still fishing with the Goliath and uh, whale, you know, Goliath rod, whale reel. Um, love this setup, guys. This thing's a beast. So anyway, we'll see you guys out there. So I'm sorry for the bad audio, guys. The wind was so bad, there was really nothing I could do about it. I mean, if you can't make it, you're a little shorter than me. Oh, now you're trying to, okay. <laughs> so guys, it's really deep here. I mean, it is the highest tide we've ever seen coming out here. And I keep saying that every time we come, it seems higher. It is really high today. Of course, we're out a little earlier, so that means the high tide, end of the high tide was coming later. So we're probably at the peak of high tide right now. Yeah, it's been raining too, so more water coming in through the well, you creeks. It Oof. Pushes the water. Hole. Yeah. Was there? I, d I don't know. I don't have a lot of confidence in this spot as much as. I caught here. Oh, I know they're here, but. It's not like that. It's not like the flats. Flats is where it's at, man. Woo. All right. All right, all right, all right. So it is way windier than yesterday. Got a lot of wind coming. It's gonna be really hard to cast the fly rod. Plus it's going this direction and we're generally casting that direction, so. It's going to be tough. This wind is really bad, guys. Well, the wind's pushing this way, so that means the bait might be against these reeds. What do you mean the wind's pushing this way? The wind's going this direction. It's going to push the bait that side. that way. Yeah, the wind's going this way. Let's walk around the other side. Yeah. Excuse the water drops on the lens. The wind and rain made it almost impossible to keep it clean. Ugh. Wind is terrible, guys. It's 
go hit up um, that area behind those weeds because all the bait's gonna be pushed that direction with the wind, you know? I'm telling you, I saw tons back there yesterday. I am not seeing much. There's a little bit of stirring, but it looks like just bait. Not seeing anything chase. So I don't know, guys. Yesterday, if you remember, they were all over back in here. So we'll see if I find them, but not looking promising today. The wind is blowing this direction. Well, it's kind of that direction. So the bait is getting pushed which could be why they're not over here. They might be at over that direction. So I decided to walk over to the other side of the flats and sure enough. Oh yeah. Woo. Got one! Oh, this is a good one, guys. This might be, oh man. This might be oversized, guys. This is a good fish, really good fish. Oh my, yeah, that is a bull. That is a nice size red. Dude, big. wrapped around There we go. Not wrapped now. Not wrapped. Now he's got power though. <sighs> Come on. That is a nice red, guys. Really, really nice. <laughs> right between my legs. Dude! That... Guys, this might be oversized. All right. Let's see if I have that tape measure. I 
don't think it's oversized. I think it's like 26. Whew. What? Right there. Why are you coming back over here? To show you. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm excited. This is the biggest red I've caught on the fly. All right, guys, there's more of them right here. Johnny's trying to get one. I'm gonna let him make a couple casts to it. And I'm gonna try. Yeah, come to my way. Well, I missed the hook set on this fish. This guy's taken off. But I ended up hooking into the one that Johnny was going after. Sorry, Johnny. This one's bigger. No question. I saw him come right at it. I wish I was filming. right there it's right there there's one right there it was following right there I think This one is like, whew, I can't budge him very much. He's a, he's a good one. So you guys missed it. This thing took off right at Johnny. He had to dodge the line. I don't know, he's about the same size, maybe. No, I think a little bigger. Yeah. What time you got? I'm happy, man. I think I figured out these reds. All right, he seems like he's getting tired. Oh, this one's fat, man. I don't know, this guy's huge. Dude, look at that. Freaking massive. Oh, that's oversized tag too, if it's oversized. No, this one's shorter. He's just fatter. This one's a little shorter. <sighs> you want to keep him? Yeah. I got a heavy fly. Do you want to try that? Johnny and I tried fishing for about an hour longer, but it was getting late and the weather was getting worse. So we decided to head back in. Just so you all know, I recently set up a Patreon page. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You really make these videos possible. I had a great time. I can't believe I caught two good sized reds uh, in one trip and it was the conditions were horrible. So that, that was really nice. Unfortunately, Johnny didn't get any uh, fishing conventional, but on the fly, you know, go figure. So it was a great time. I'm so glad I came down and three really nice reds. We're going to flame them up when we get home and, and I got to head home. 
Um, I'm gonna give Johnny one of the, the reds. The other two I'll bring home and have some good food. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you wanna check out the rods that I was using, uh, they're made by Risen Fly, so go to www.risenfly.com. The, the rod is called the Goliath Rod, and the reel is called the, the Whale Reel. And I was actually using their fly line as well. Uh, good stuff. Uh, everything they make is really high quality, but priced really, really well. So uh, go check that out and type in McFly at checkout for 15% off of anything you buy in their shop on your first order. So. Also, guys, um, I have a Patreon page, so please sign up for that. It'll help me out. Um, and also, there's some great perks for you guys, like early access to my videos, one-on-one uh, -on -one help with some of the tiers from me, uh, especially with fly tying or any kind of fishing or whatever. I can do a video chat with you, whatever it may be that you need. Um, kind of gives you some extra perks and services uh, and helps bring me in, uh, brings in the channel a little bit more money. So um, anyway, check that out. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash McFly Angler and sign up when you can. Uh, it's as little as a dollar a month you can sign up and some of the tiers go up to $20 a month, but um, you get a little more perks with those higher end tiers. Um, even discounts on hand tied flies by me. So I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish. That. <laughs> Guys, this might be oversized.